Joe. So, we made it. Sorry for the delay. I think the Man City fans took us here. We didn't know quite where to go, but we're here now. And uh, thanks all for waiting and for coming by for our press conference before the match tomorrow. With me, I have Jakob Nystrup, our head coach, and Victor Klaassen, our captain, and Rasmus Falk. We will speak in Danish for the Danes, and there will be translation for those who need that. I think works. Yes, perfect. And we're also happy to answer... Uh, questions in English. If you put them forward in English, we will try our best to answer as good as we can in English as well. Yeah. Go ahead. Jakob, den sidste kampe i United har spillet der i måneden, men er det alligevel et godt tidspunkt at møde Manchester United på det her? Jeg tror, man skal passe meget på med at, det der med, hvornår det er et godt eller et dårligt tidspunkt at møde et, et fodboldhold. Der kan være fordele og ulemper ved at møde et hold, der, der er kommet bullerne og øh, et hold, der har øh, kan man sige, måske haft nogle... There's positives and negatives from uh, playing against a team who perhaps has been a little bit weak lately, uh, but we... We have to have a result tomorrow, whether they've won or the last 10 matches or if they've um, been up and down like they've been doing the last couple of months. We, we have to play like we normally do. There will be a couple of times tomorrow where we have to defend heavily. We know that. Uh, we, we are ready for that and we have to get on the ball, we have to play with patience and make sure we, we keep the ball. We, we plan to take the risks at the right times on the field. Uh, yeah, the, 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 their transitional game, uh, Manchester United's transitional game is extremely quick and we have to get ready and get adapted for that because they are world class at that. What have you learned from the two first matches in the Champions League? We learned that we we have to finish the games positively. We've been up in the games and we just haven't managed to capitalize. This is what we have to learn for tomorrow. I love watching FC Copenhagen, uh, the first two games in Istanbul and uh, at the home against Bayern Munich. Played well, just needed to get it over the line. If we're in a position to get a result tomorrow, we have to ensure we get it over the line. Rasmus Feldt, you played with Christian Eriksen in Funen uh, locally when you played with Christian Eriksen. Are you... Are you looking forward to playing him tomorrow? That all depends on the result. My relationship to Christian Eriksen is very close, uh, but also we live far away. We've not spoken for a while, and it's. Uh, we don't see us all the time, but uh, we we text now and again and keep in touch. Can you follow up on that, please? Uh, I spoke to Christian Eriksen today. It was uh, over Skype. Uh, we had communications between me and Christian Eriksen for quite a while. Obviously, when the draw came out, we we had a chance to to put some messages together. Cornelius has stayed at home. He was in Qatar. He was in perfect condition. However, why is he not in this Champions League match? 
uh, det var ham, der sagde tip-top stand. Uh, så med mere tip-top er det jo så heller ikke. Cornelius altså, said himself, he was in, uh, in perfect condition, uh, but really, that's not the issue. Men, men vejen for ham tilbage, det, det bliver, at hvis vi skal lave... He's not injured, uh, and sometimes you just have to make some choices... Uh, in, in order to to make sure that we get him on the on the pitch for the last part of the season, he'll be part of the squad on Saturday, and then we'll see. Why not to Champions League? We say it's too early following the injury he's just had. Even though he's not injured at the moment, it's too early to come back into the Champions League game. Jeg kan godt forstå, at folk undrer sig, øh, før jeg fik det spørgsmål, men efter jeg har svaret på det, så, så synes jeg ikke, der er nogen, der kan undre sig over det. For jeg har lige forklaret, at han... Øh, er, at han Same ikke, question as before. Er he's, he's not ready to play in Champions League. He's not ready to play three games in a row. Med den rejse, øh, det er også... Ja, ja men så er det bedre, at han er hjemme og... Best, he's back training, back home in Copenhagen. Hvad har han selv sagt til den prioritering? What has Cornelius said himself about the priority? He understands and let's concentrate on the Champions League game tomorrow against Manchester United. What is your chances to get a result against Manchester United tomorrow night? And have you spoke to Victor Lindelof? Unfortunately, they're speaking Swedish now. So, I think that we. I think we hope that we can hang with good in the and that we can get the result here. You say you're clear for selfies. No, but more for we can have the Champions League and then on that way. But we ska we ska hit and we ska we ska get the result and come. Kommer oss upp i, i puljen. Det är vårt mål. Jag tänker ju som fotbollsspelare är det nog många skulle ha sett engelsk fotboll som dräng och, och liksom fullt med. Ehm, måske har man också i förhåll till någon klubbar. Är det, är det någon i ett skottrum som det är extra stort för att spela en kamp som i morgon? Ja, men jag tror det är många som har följt Premier League som du säger United. Ehm, men speciellt för, för Hojlund som har en, en, en bror i andra hållet så blir det väl stort. Ehm, men eh, jag tror det är, en, det är en fel kamp att spela för alla samman. Eh, det kommer att vara eh, många tillskurer och det är, ja, det är en viktig kamp eh, och en stor kamp så det är aldrig fett falla. Hör du vad fasen? Ja. Jag vill säga, du är Eriksson nästan lika gammal där och det är fyra år. Du och Eriksson är det samma. You and Christian are about four years apart. Do you have a relationship with him outside the field? I, 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 I don't know Christian Eriksson, but I do... Um, I, I do enjoy the, all the goals he scored for Denmark and... Obviously, are you ready for this massive arena, uh, playing such on such a big stage at Old Trafford? Yes, it is a massive game for for all the players, for FC Copenhagen and for the whole of the Danish football. But uh, it's we are we are 95 minutes away from of getting a good result tomorrow uh, as a as a team and as a as a manager. Asmus, har du nogle tricks i ærmet i forhold til Eriksen ved Fyns trash talk eller hvad er det? Do you have uh, do you have some do you have some tricks ready for for United tomorrow and Christian Eriksen? Det er sådan en sådan snakker. Nej, jeg tænker ikke at jeg tænker ikke at du kommer til at høre efter at jeg har trash talket Grelle helt. There will be no trash talking tomorrow between me and Christian Eriksen. 
I know his strengths and uh, we know his weaknesses. Uh, he's a quality player and, and obviously we have uh, got ready for this game and we know what he brings to the game. Did I? No, så tager jeg til næsten. Den her store kamp er jo pakket ind i kampen mellem mod Vejle og så, og så videre på den anden side. Den This match is in between two Superliga games, Vejle and Viborg on the other side. Are you ready for such a step up between the two games? Øh, jamen altså rent taktisk, så, 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 så forsøger jeg at forberede spillerne på, hvad, hvad det er, der typisk vil. Altså hvad er det for et kampbillede, vi, vi kan forvente, og hvad er det for et kampbillede? The main thing is to tactically put correct and get ready for, for the right teams at the right time. And obviously against Manchester United, it's, uh, it's different from the other games. Hopefully the games will look roughly like they did in the first two uh, Champions League game against Kalatas Ryan Manchester United and then and then there's there'll, there'll be parts of the game where we can uh, capitalize and, and hopefully we can get it over the line if we get into the position to get a result på på vores støder hvor du kan sige at der i i kampen forleden jamen der der giver det lidt sig selv at det det eneste vi brugt tid på i dagene op til til den kamp det var hvordan vi skulle vi skulle åbne et lavt forsvar hvordan vi skulle undgå når vi smed bolden væk at de vil skabe chancer mod os. Det lykkedes vi så ikke så godt med, men det var det, vi arbejdede på. Det er også dig, Rasmus Højlund har jo mange gange sagt, at den her kamp er speciel. Rasmus Højlund har sagt mange gange, at det er en speciel game for ham. Is it specially to move? Is it very special to move him following his move to Manchester United? Jeg tror det er mere for special for for nogle af spillerne. I think it's uh, more special uh, for some of the players who's from the same age group as and 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 uh, the, the guys who play closely with him. Um, When, at the same time when they are 13 14 and 15 years of age they will be that will be special for them to play against Rasmus But obviously he's, he's Manchester United's most dangerous player following the three goals in Champions League um, and uh, are you ready for that but Yes, we we are, but obviously we had we had Harry Kane at Man- at, at Bayern Munich. So <laughs> there, there's a lot of good players in Champions League we have to deal with. I'm so sorry, I send you up back now. We have a few up here. Sorry. You brought Babacar along. It was he. He was out in the cold, but he's come back in. How come he's been registered to the European Games, even though he's been out in the cold? For two years, so was it just something that was Corona, and that would that would be very scary if I had to run around with stoves on out on Old Trafford, if U19 players and the players who were a little cold didn't get were registered. So that's a very simple reason. And then it's what we mailed out for. Ja, for 10-12 dage siden, at nu har vi slået en, uh, slået en streg over det, så det snakker vi ikke. Uh, okay, the, the problems we had, we have kind of like put a stick in the sand and said, now we move forward now, and that's why we're Babacar with us into the troop tomorrow, and he's now uh, in direct competition with all the other players at the same time, on the same level, uh, to get into the team. Hoyland left the club from two years old, two years ago, could not get in the team at FC Copenhagen uh, because he was a young player. It's a great story. We are looking forward to it. Obviously, we never expected uh, Hoyland to uh, uh, move on and then finally get to Manchester United as number nine. That's massive uh, massive for him and it's none of us have thought it happened it'd be really interesting to play the game tomorrow against him at such a high level Mm. 
I don't have to remind you the last time you played Manchester United uh, a couple of things happened there where the, the, you had to go it went virally onto the media different time different place but, but it's but it's correct it was a a massive thing for us to play as close to playing a semi final in the Euro League however I feel our our team right now is stronger than it was back then and it's a different game tomorrow and uh, I'm going into tomorrow's game with a bigger optimism uh, than the last game um, we have a good team ready ready for tomorrow the tactics you used against Galatasaray will you be using that again Yes, it will be, but I obviously I'm not going to tell you what tactics we're going to use tomorrow uh, against Manchester United, but obviously Anton uh, tactics with Anton against Manchester United uh, against Bayern Munich um, means that we can get uh, certain players we can get onto the onto the ball. Og så spillede Victor Nier i, øh, i, i Aarhus, men det var nogle andre arbejdsopgaver, øh, som, han, som, som han havde der. Så det er en, øh, det er en mulighed. Øhm, og, jamen, altså, jeg, jeg synes, det er hold, vi skal møde i morgen, øh, selvom der er rigtig, rigtig mange, der har, der har forsøgt øh, og, øh, derhjemme og, og præcis, måske snakke dem lidt ned, øh, fordi de har haft en, øh, i hvert fald ifølge... Øh, den danske sportspresse en, 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 en svær periode, så er det et hold med ekstrem fart. Tomorrow, it, although they, a lot of people have talked them down, said they're not to normal level, but they have some fantastic players uh, for tomorrow. They have serious speed in the transitions, so it's a very fine balance between um, playing well and making sure that we don't make stupid uh, mistakes. I think, yeah. Hi, it's been touched on already then, but with Man United's recent success and their new striker, obviously, you know, Rasmus Hoyland coming in, how do you plan to contain them? The plan, as I just said, that The biggest strength in this team uh, in, in Champions League has been that we are true to ourselves, uh, which means that we need to show. I know that we're not going to have the ball uh, as much as we normally have in the Danish Danish league, but when we have it, we need to protect it and we need to show that we are a good football team. And the more we have the ball, the less we have to to stand deep. Um, and then, as I just said, I think that the opponent that we play tomorrow is is a team that has high-speed players on on top top level in uh, in European football um, so that we need to to know where can we lose the ball and where can't we afford to uh, to lose it that's going to be a key point for us this is not a Champions League relation uh, question Uh, det er ærgerligt for, for FC København. Jeg har ikke nogen, jeg har ikke nogen øh, øh, kommentar til, til det økonomiske, men når vi ikke har fans med øh, øh, til udkamp, så, så har det en sportslig konsekvens, og det er vi, det er vi ærgerligt. You've had a fine, uh, which means that you'll be playing against Randers without any uh, fans. Uh, how, how do you see that? Yeah, I'm not going to commentate on any economical issues as to why we've been fined. Obviously, it's a problem that we'd be playing in front of our uh, playing a, a match uh, without any uh, fans in 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 the in the stadium. Um, Rasmus, if I could ask, how much do you feel Hoyland has developed as a player since he left the club? How different a player is he now to the one that was a teammate of yours? Yeah, actually, I think he's the same player. Like he, he had, 
he has the same quality and like play in the same way. But of course, like he he managed to take it on the highest uh, scene. So it's like the the same quality, but just like it's yeah developed like all around. There was a question just behind. Yeah. Uh, Jakob, you'll be aware that England and Manchester United have lost one of their greatest ever players this weekend, Sir Bobby Charlton. Obviously tomorrow there will be a lot of tributes to him. What are you expecting in terms of an atmosphere and what are your memories or knowledge of him as an English footballer? Um, the, the, the knowledge that I have is that he's a, he was a great player for England and for Manchester United throughout many, many years. Um, and after his, uh, his playing career, he was a he had big influence on on Manchester United, so uh, we we as a team and as player want just to honour him in the way, same way as uh, as the stadium tomorrow. That's uh, that's that's it, I think. And can I ask you about Manchester United? Um, obviously, they have a, an amazing record in England in Europe. Are they at their most vulnerable? Do you think? as they have been perhaps in the last 10, 20 years, given what you see from the outside? No, I have no comment to that. I have, I have, a, I have a comment that we, too, that we're going to play Manchester United tomorrow, but, but no matter if they have won uh, 100 games in a row or lost 100 games in a row, then we need to do our job, and we are here to create a result. And that's the only thing that matters for us, and that's the demand that we, that we push to ourselves, and that is no matter the, the shape that the opponent uh, will, will arrive in. Uh, Thank you. Any more questions? Yeah? No? <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming by. See you tomorrow. Just actually. <laughs>